Okay, so today we're gonna learn 3.3 trigonometric substitution. So what we know what is the substitution, right? And then what is the uh, we know what is the trigonometry, right? So trig we substitute, right? Okay. Number one, can we integrate this one? Can we integrate? We can take the u from here. This one is one over a arc tangent. Okay. Mm -hmm. U over a plus c. Okay, second one. Can we integrate this one? Oh, in this case, x, because they don't use the u, right? So this is x, x over a, right? Number two, can we integrate this one? So this, yes. Is, yes, thank you. So this will be uh, inverse. Let me use in different notation. So first one, I was using arc. Second one is this notation. So u over a plus c, okay? And this was the homework question, right? 1.7 inverse of a trick. And what about third one? Can we integrate? This is a one over a arc sine, I'm sorry, arc secant. And this is the absolute value of u over a plus c. How about the last one? So last one we're gonna uh, learn today, okay? So look, if we have integration and we cannot use u sub, definitely, that's why we are learning these techniques, which is trigonometric substitution, okay? Most of the time there is radical like this, okay? But then look, we have integration, we have this form, we have arc tangent, and we have radical with this format, then it's the arc, six, <laughs> arc sine. And if we have u square minus a square, then this is r second, right? So we're gonna use kind of this form, right? Okay, so we will do that here. Look. Let me denote the trick substitution. Substitution. All right, so we have uh, three types of form. The first one, we have a squared minus u squared, okay? Looks like this form, right? Okay, instead of radical, but it's not the R sign, right? So just the radical itself, right? Look, if we have this one, this is a strategy. And I want to understand this. Uh, we're gonna set, in this case, A must be greater than zero and let U equal to A sine theta because this form R second, right? Oh no, so why, why I keep saying the R second sign, right? R, R sign. All right, then if we say that let u equal to A sine theta, then it will be, oops. A squared, and we say that u equal to a sine theta, so we replace a sine theta squared, right? 
So let us using this way, square that. Okay, now we can factor out with a squared inside the radical. So, yeah, the cosine. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, then Pythagorean identity we have. So it's a cosine theta is your classmate to say that. So we have a squared, which is cosine squared theta, right? Now we have square root. So we can say the A cosine theta, right? Okay, look. Right triangle. We have a theta here. Okay, then if we solve for sine theta, then that is u over a. Then look, in right triangle, we have sine equal to opposite over hypotenuse, right? Let me denote it this way, opposite over hypotenuse. So, um, we are standing in the angle, then opposite side will be here, U, and hypotenuse will be A here, right? Then what's the this side then? A squared minus A squared U, minus U squared. Yes, right, okay? So we are using that like this, okay. Now, second one. We have this form. Can you see that? This form similar with this, right? A squared plus X squared, okay? So, Kind of, so we are using let a equal to, I mean, you let u equal to a tangent theta, okay? So let me write down. Okay, then same process, a squared plus u squared, which is a squared, 10 squared theta. Now, factor out with a squared. Then one plus 10 squared theta. Then look by Pythagorean identity. So we have what? 10 squared theta equal to scan squared theta minus one, right? Then secant square theta, which is 10 square theta plus one, right? So it will have a squared secant square theta. Then we have a square root. So we have a secant theta, right? Okay, look this one. If we solve for 10 theta, then we have u over a. So 10 theta, which is the sine of cosine, which is opposite over Jason, right? So in right triangle, angle theta here, then uh, we pretend Sending angle theta, right? So opposite side will be here. Jason side will be A. Then what is in this case? Oops. <laughs> a squared plus we add them, right? Squared. Uh huh. Okay. A squared plus U squared. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. It's hard to see. Yeah.
All right. Third one. We have this form u squared minus a squared. u squared minus a squared. Look, this is the form of this one, right? Which is r secant. So we can say that let u equal to a secant theta. Okay, then same process. U squared, which is a squared secant squared theta minus a squared. And a squared, we factor out secant squared theta minus one, right? Can you please mute if you don't talk? Thank you. All right. Now, secant squared theta minus one, we have here, which is 10 squared theta, right? So we have a squared, 10 squared theta. Uh, Professor, could you scroll, scroll up for a bit for a second to just to sure. show us? Mm -hmm. Like that? More? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no, this is good. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so then in we have a square root, so we say that a ten theta. Okay, so in right triangle, solve for a second theta here, which is u over a. So second, which is uh, one of us cosine, so reverse of a cosine which is, uh, what is that? Jason of hypotenuse will be hypotenuse over Jason, right? So this will be like that. Mm. U hypotenuse, Jason. All right, then what will be this one? U to the second minus A to the second. Thank you so much. Excellent. All right? Very good. So we're going to use this kind of concept. Okay? All right. So let us start the first problem. This one. Okay? Integrate square root one minus x squared. Oops. All right, so look, this is the form of, I'm climbing up, climb up. So look. Uh, this one, yeah. Can you see that? Uh, this is constant, this is a variable, okay? Constant and variable. So I remember this way, constant first, then related with the sign, okay? Look, this one, variable first, then related with the secant, okay? All right, so here, strategy, if we have, constant first, we set it up, this variable equal to a sine theta, okay? In this case, we have x, we can just use x directly, we don't have to say u, okay? But later on, more than x, then we can say u better, 
because x equal to two x squared is a little bit confusing, okay? Okay, let us do this one. Let, maybe different color. Let, let's think form of uh, a square minus u square. So let's see, x equal to a sine theta. What's the A in this case? A? Uh, one. One, thank you. It's one. So we have X equal to sine theta, right? Okay, then look, we have all the X variable. In this section, we're gonna change everything by trig and angle theta. Okay, then the end we're gonna substitute back with x. So here, let x equal to sine theta. What's the derivative? What do you get? Derivative of sine theta. Cosine. Cosine theta. Good. D theta. Okay. Now. We change that, substitute, one minus x squared, which is x squared, in this case, sine squared theta. Can you see that? Then the x will be cosine theta d theta, okay? Now, what is the one minus sine squared theta? Cosine squared theta. Yeah, so this is cosine squared theta by Pythagorean identity, right? So we have cosine squared theta, cosine theta, d theta, okay? Now we have cosine theta, cosine theta, d theta, okay? <laughs> now we have a cosine squared theta, d theta. Look. We had the experience yesterday, right? We cannot integrate this one, right? Then we will use a half angle formula. So that is uh, one plus cosine two theta over two. D theta, okay. Okay. Now we can take out the constant out of integration symbol. So we have one half, one. Then maybe you can do this way because we had experience already. Mm, cosine two theta and d theta, right? All right. One half, we integrate of one d theta, what do you get? Theta. Theta, good. Now we integrate cosine two theta. Minus, minus, minus. Uh, top, uh, uh, two. Psi and two theta? One over. One, oh, over. one, over. <laughs> one, over. So one over two. Oh. Sine two theta. Oh. Right? Yeah. We did a couple times. <laughs> okay. Good. So we have that, right? And plus C, right? Okay. Now we're going to substitute two back with all the x values, okay? Why we were doing this one? Because it's a very hard. I mean, we don't know what to, how to integrate over this one. That's why we were using trick sub techniques to find out the integration, right? 
Then we're gonna substitute two back to the x variable, the end. That is uh, our last answer. So look, more work. <laughs> so we will have one half theta there. Now we do this uh, <laughs> distribute, which is one fourth sine two theta plus C. Okay. Now sin, uh, sin, sin, <laughs> sine two theta. Does anyone remember how we express double angle formula? So sine two theta will be two sine theta cosine theta. Excellent. Yes. So two sine theta cosine theta. This is from trig identity. The formula actually plus C. So we have, we're not done yet. <laughs> one half of theta plus we simplify one half sine theta cosine theta plus C. All right, look, we have to convert to theta as a variable X. We have to convert sine theta as a variable X and cosine the theta as a variable X as well, right? Now, we're going back here. So in right triangle, this is better like this, I think. Okay, all right. All right, so we have sine theta equal to x. This one, right? This means uh, x over one, same as, and sine theta in terms of right triangle, we say that opposite over hypotenuse, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. So, Think about we have angle theta standing there, then opposite side will be x, hypotenuse will be one. Now, how can we express in this Jason side then? One minus x to the second. Good, one minus x to the second power, okay? Can you see we have this one is here, right? Every time we have a match there somehow, all right? Good, now, how do we make angle theta itself? So we have a sine theta equal to x, then we can say that it's the inverse of x, right? Yes? Uh, How about cosine? Yes, <laughs> thank you. How about uh, what, cosine? What was that sine what x? So sine theta equal to x, how do we solve for x? I'm sorry, how do we solve for theta? We swap, right? Yes? Yeah. Okay. This one, yesterday we had, remember? We had uh, after, um, this lecture, I helped you Homer, right? So we had cosine, I don't remember uh, this, right? So what's the angle theta? Do you remember that? Was it? What was it? Uh, it was. Uh, P over six. Yeah, pi over six. Do you remember we did it this way last time? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, okay. So. so, so basically if we have sine y x, then inverse, we swap, okay? So they change x and y, right? Okay, cosine theta in terms of right triangle, how do we express? Uh, 
Jason over hypotenuse, right? So Jason, we get square root of one minus x squared. Oops. And hypotenuse, which is over one, so we don't have to write down over one. Okay. All right. So we're gonna write down uh, one half theta. Theta will be sine inverse of sine x. Okay plus one half sine theta, sine theta was the x, and cosine theta, which is square root of one minus uh, x squared. That's it, okay? I mean, this is not that it's a lot of work, <laughs> right? Even though we did the tricks up, right? Is it okay? Okay, let us do more. Number two. Okay, we have integration dx over x squared. Nine minus x squared. Okay, so we're looking at the radical. So radical has constant first. If a constant first is the same as form as a squared minus u squared. Okay. Then in this case, x, x squared, right? So we can just say that let x equal to a sine theta. A in this case, what do you have? Um, I'm sorry. Nine. A squared. Oh. I... Yeah, a squared, what do you get? Three, right? All right, then we have x equal to three sine theta. Okay, derivative, what do you get? Uh... Three cosine theta. Three cosine theta. Very good. All right. So we will have dx, which is a three cosine theta de theta over x squared, which is three squared sine squared theta and uh, nine minus nice and c uh -huh. nice so, and c times square yeah nine sine square theta as well right good we done that all right so look we have a cosine theta d theta over three square which is nine sine squared theta. Uh, we have experience, right? Nine so, uh -huh. nine. so nine, one minus uh, sine squared theta. So one minus sine squared theta, we have cosine theta, right? Cosine squared theta. Yes. Good. So we have Cosine theta d theta over oops. So in the free cosine theta. Yeah, missing three. Yes, thank you so much. And sine square theta. And 
Three cosine theta. Uh -huh. Three and cosine theta. Very good. Okay. Oof. You, uh, you, uh, up the three cosine theta to theta. Uh -huh. Okay. So yeah. yes, we do cosine theta sine uh, theta. Oops, missing again, right? <laughs> yeah, this one too. All right, so we have one over nine. Yeah. Okay, so we take out one over nine and one over sine square theta, right? D theta. Okay, so one over sine theta, how do we express as another trig function? Cosecant square? <laughs> All right. Now, what's the antiderivative of a cosecant square theta? I'm not telling you. You have to know. Think. What's the derivative to make a cosecant square? Um, it just uh, so much information as well. Uh, I know a lot of information we have. It's to minus cosinus cotangent. Cotangent, yeah. Ah, oh, so cotangent theta plus c. Okay, now we're gonna find out what is cotangent theta, that's it. And then we're gonna convert to the x variable. Look. Uh, from here, we have sine theta, which is x over three, right? That is, So that is opposite, opposite over hypotenuse, right? So we have triangle, right triangle. We have angle theta and pretend we are sending in angle theta. Opposite side will be X, hypotenuse will be three. Then what's this one? It will be nine minus s squared. Nine minus x squared. Excellent. Okay. Now we need a cotangent, right? So what's the cotangent theta, which is cosine over sine, which is nine minus s squared. Jason over uh, opposite, right? So this inside, which is square root of nine minus x square, and opposite will be x, yes. right? Good. So that's it, we are using that. So answer will be one over nine, square root two, nine minus x squared over x plus c, okay? Is it hard? Okay, let us do number three. Uh, could you scroll up just for, for, sure. for a second? Okay, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So let me write down so other people can think while you're writing. So three. 
Okay. All right, so this one also radical because we can express this one as dx and radical form. So it will be squared and x squared plus one cube inside, right? Or we can write down cube outside as well. Either one, maybe outside is better. Oops. All right, then this form, climb up, this is, is a plus, right? So plus, this form is same as this one, a squared plus u squared. Then we can say the variable equal to a tangent theta. All right, then since we have x squared, we can just say directly let x equal to a tangent theta. A in this case, what? Constant. Yeah, constant, which is one, right? So x equal to 10 theta, right? Derivative, what do you get? Uh, secant to the second x. Or... Uh -huh, very good. Secant square theta, div theta, right? Now we change it to uh, dx will be secant square theta, div theta over. And we have squared, x squared, which is 10 squared uh, plus theta plus one, then cube, right? So what is the 10 squared plus one? Uh, Second, theta. Yes. Squared, good. So we have secant square theta, d theta over. So without square root, we have a secant theta. Secant squared, six. Uh huh. And cube, right? Theta. Is okay? All right. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's correct, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, now we can simplify. So we have one over secant. Oh, I need a space there later on. The triangle. So we have one over secant theta, d theta. Okay, uh, we got it, right? How do we express this one? Okay, you might not think quickly, right? So let me show you one over we can say that uh, secant, which is one over cosine theta, d theta, then this will be what? Sine theta. Cosine theta, I see what you meant, d theta. Okay, now sine theta 
plus C, right? Okay, so we're gonna find out what's the sine theta, okay? By right triangle. So look. All right, so we have a 10 theta there, which is uh, opposite over adjacent side, so x over one. So angle theta is here, we standing angle theta, and opposite side will be x here, adjacent side will be here. Now, how do we express it here? Longest one? X to the second plus one. S squared. Yeah, X squared plus one, excellent. Or we can say that one plus X squared, good. So this is a match with the problem, right? So one of a side match with the original problem. So sine theta, so sine theta, which is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite side is x over hypotenuse, which is square root of x squared plus one, okay? So that is that. Plus C. Okay. This is number three. Aha, uh -huh, number four, I have to do this one. Okay, so far we did only x itself, right? Now we're gonna have more than x squared. So let us do those kind of a problem too. Ready? So let me write down first so you think. We know that this is related with a tangent theta, right? Because it's addition, look, this will be two X quantity square, right? Plus one squared. Ready? Okay, so normally we have, we use it directly x equal to because we had only x squared, right? But in this case, we have a two x as the u. So look, this is the form of um, u squared plus a squared. So let u equal to just u itself, right? It's a two x, so two x squared, which is a four x squared, right? Let u equal to a tangent theta, right? So which is a tan theta. In this case, uh, what is that? One. One, thank you. So we have one. So we get two X equal to 10 theta, right? Okay, now uh, we divide by two so that we can do de a uh, derivative. So divide by two. So we have x equal to one half ten theta. Now we derivative one half tangent theta. What do you get? Uh, one, five, six, 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 
Seconds good. Two, 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 two second divided uh -huh. by two. Yes, one half. Second square theta d theta. You are right. Okay, good. Okay, now very good. We have a dx which is one half secant square theta d theta over now for x squared. So for x squared, which is one half ten theta squared plus one, right? Okay, let us simplify. We have one half bring out. Now secant square theta d theta over. Look at the inside. We have a one half squared, which is one fourth. So it's a simplify with that. So we left out mm -hmm. 10 square theta plus one, right? It's okay. All right, then look, we know this is secant square theta. So one half secant square theta, d theta, we will have secant theta. Okay, now we simplify two with one. Now we have one half secant theta, d theta. Does anyone remember this one? Integrate of a second, oh, missing theta, d theta. Secant and tangent. Secant theta plus tangent theta, right? We proved yeah. yesterday. Very good. So we prove. So ln, we forgot ln. Second theta plus ten theta plus c. So we proved yesterday. So yesterday video we have that. All right. Then we want to change back into the x variable. Looks so good. All right, so here, right triangle, angle theta. Look, we have a two x equal to 10 theta, right? So that is opposite over Jason. So we send in here, then opposite will be two X there. Jason, which is over one. And how do we express this one? Or s plus one. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, what we have to do? Second theta. So second theta, which is one of a cosine. So hypotenuse over Jason. So hypotenuse over Jason. Jason is the one. Okay, now we need a 10 theta. Oh, we have one, right? Okay, so 10 theta, which is 2x, then second theta will be square root over 4x squared plus one inside the square root, yeah? One half, and then second theta, which is 4x squared plus one plus 
tan theta, which is 2x plus c. Okay. All right. That was number four. And we do number five. So we do number five. We do definite integration. So one is we change the limit. One is we keep the limit and then we find out the actual answer, okay? Okay, so we have a definite integration from three to square root of three to two. We have a square root two minus three over x dx. All right, so look, the radical, we're looking at the radical, right? Then it's hard to climb up. Uh, look. The variable first, then subtraction, right? With the sub, in the subtraction inside the radical, right? So we're gonna use let u equal to secant theta, but then that problem has x itself, which is x squared. So we can directly use x equal to a secant theta, okay? Let A, I'm sorry, <laughs> let, uh, let X equal to A secant theta. What's the A in this case? Three or square, uh, square root of three? Excellent. Yeah, square root two over three, okay, good. So A is the square root two over three. So we have X equal to square root two three, secant theta. Now, derivative, what do you get? Derivative, secant theta, what do you have? Um. Derivative, derivative, <laughs> derivative. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> I just can't do really like Oh, is it secant uh, tan? Okay, oh, good. Second, second theta, tan theta, right? So yeah, second have, theta, tan, tan uh -huh. theta. Yeah. Second theta, tan theta, d theta. Okay, very good. That is really good. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, let us uh, do everything. Oh, let us change the limit, okay? So I want to show you one is a change the limit, one is just so using the two, upper bound as two, low bound as square root two over three, okay? So change the limit. So we have when x equal to square root two, three, then we have x equal to square root of three secant theta, right? So we have x equal to square root two of uh, three secant theta. So we substitute 
square root of three there, right? Because they said x equals to square root two over three. Then we have square root of three equal to square root of three secant theta. All right, then divide by square root of three both sides. Then we get one. All right, so we're gonna start for angle theta. So what is this? One over, I'm sorry, one uh, second theta, which is cosine theta, right? Then what is that? Cosine theta equal to one. What is that? Cosine theta equal to one, angle theta. Zero. Zero good, zero radians. Okay, same concept when x equal to two, we have uh, two equal to square root of three, secant theta. Now, divide by square root of three, both sides. So we have two square root of three equal to secant theta. Now we know, uh, Second theta, which is one over cosine theta, right? So one over cosine theta, save the step. So think cosine theta, which is square root of three over two. What do you have with this one? We did uh, yesterday. Pi over, Pi over six, excellent. Pi over six. Uh-huh. So we, we change that from square root of three Look, zero two pi over six, okay? All right, so we have zero two pi over six. All right, now we're gonna do x squared, which is a squared. A in this case is square root of three, so three secant squared theta, right? X squared. over x, which is square root three secant theta, and d theta, I mean, the, I mean dx, which is square root three secant theta, tan theta, d theta, right? Sorry, messy. Okay, now, <sighs> We can simplify. Inside, we have experience with uh, factor out with three secant square theta minus one and 10 theta, right? All right, what is the secant square theta minus one? Ten squared theta. Ten squared theta. So we have look zero to pi over six. We have square root of three and ten theta. Ten theta. Ten theta. Right. So we will have take out the constant which is square root of three and from zero to pi over six, ten squared theta. Ten theta. Okay, trick Pythagorean identity, which is second square theta, one minus one again, right? We are using this. So this will be square root of three, zero to pi over six, second square theta minus one, dead theta. Uh, we can integrate term by term. Minus
All right? Look, integral of second square theta, what do you get? Antiderivative of second square theta. Ten. Ten theta, good. Okay, what about the integral of one uh, theta. The theta? Okay, so we do from zero to pi over six. All right, so square root two, three. So in this case, we change the limit. That's why we don't have to change it back to the x variable, right? So 10 theta, which is, uh, think about sine pi over six over cosine pi over six minus pi over six, and then everything is zero there, right? So sine pi over six, what do you have? I taught I taught you yesterday how to wow. do everything. Oh. So one half good, half. and then square root of three over two. Okay, approximately. Can you please do the approximately? So this is basically. Uh, missing this one. Huh? So it's like this approximately. Yeah, it's one minus. Thank you so much. Um, point, yeah. uh, point zero nine three one zero zero three. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. All right. So this one, we change the limit. Now we don't change the limit, then we're going to use uh, same. Is... Are you talking to me? No, no, sorry. Okay, all right. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, start this one. Okay, we will start here, and then we will use the upper bound, the lower bound as same as the original one. Then we have to change back to the x variable, right? So start here. Start. So we have square root two, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of work, yes. <laughs> the square root, I want to start here. Copy, paste. Okay, so we are starting there. Look, but then limit will be change it to. We had from square root to three to two, but then look, we cannot use a tangent theta. We cannot use a theta, right? So we have to change it back to the variable x. So let's see, right triangle. Uh, so let me, this is too messy here. So let me uh, using uh, x equal to square root of three second theta, okay? So we need that one. Uh, x equal to square root of three second theta. Then this will be x over square root of three Second theta, second theta, which is uh, hypotenuse over 
Jason, right? All right, so hypotenuse, which is x, Jason, which is square root of three. Now, how do we express it here? X, x to the uh, second minus three. three. Excellent. Yeah. Then tan theta, which is opposite over Jason. So opposite, which is square root of x squared minus three over Jason, which is square root over three, right? All right, almost done. Square root of three, 10 theta, which is square root x squared minus three over square root of three minus angle theta. So angle theta, uh, this will be, we switch over, so second, not there. Inverse of second, right? Okay. So this will be inverse of a second. Oops. X over square root two three. All right. Then square root two three two two. Square root two three. Oh, a lot of work. <laughs> Okay, two squared minus three over square root of three. Please, can you please calculate? Uh, and minus, we have- Just one. Uh, second inverse, hold on one second, that. And minus, oh, this is too complicated, yeah. This is why we change the limit. Okay, so how about square root of three squared minus three over square root of three minus a second. Oh, all right. And then another bracket. Okay, so. In my note, this is zero. This is also zero. Uh, there is a square root two, three. Yeah, this is one this way. All right, so we have square root two, three. Then we get one over square root two, three minus pi over six, which is the same as earlier one. 1 minus square root of 3 and pi over 6, which is 0 0.9131, like earlier one. Okay? 003. So please calculate. 